everyone welcome back to the craft room I thought I'd do a little show and tell today on the cards that I made from my last video how to make faux and finger bows so let's get right into it shall we so the first card I want to show you is with our faux knot all of the paper used on this card is recollections the card base is a 110 pound cream colored card and this shimmery card front is the recollections signature special um, i believe it's the champagne color it's really really pretty if you recall the all the ribbon i used is offre satin ribbon this is three quarters of an inch the hello is from the tim holtz bird talk set and I stamped that in Gina K's Amalgam Ink. The tulips on here are really kind of cool. I cut these from a cut file from Cricut Design Space, colored them with Copic markers, and this black outline is actually heat transfer vinyl. I'm going to have to do a quick video on that one day real soon. So let's move on to the next card. So the second card was made with our faux bow. I did put glue dots underneath the loops to kind of hold them in place. The pattern paper is from the Recollections paper pad Sage Park by Michaels. And this pretty pink paper or cardstock, excuse me, is Basil Basic. Again, the card base is 110 pound Recollections in white i stamped the happy birthday with the kaiser craft occasions stamp set and of course i use gina k's amalgam ink i absolutely love this stuff because the fobo has a little bit of dimension on the back i did excuse me i did put thin foam squares behind this panel to kind of hold it up off of the card base and I used foam tape on the first card as well. So let me show you what I did for the next card. For this card, we're going to venture into the finger bows. I chose one of the double loop bows for this card. And for the Hello Stamp, this is from the Honeybee Stamps Hello Stamp and Die Set. And of course, I used Gina K Designs Amalgam Ink. This red piece right here is an ink smushing technique with Tim Holtz Distress Inks. Um, I'm not sure which colors they were. I'm assuming Lumberjack Plaid, Crackling Campfire, perhaps a little Rusty Hinge, maybe. Um, I had this in my stash of supplies, so I thought that would go beautiful with this little card. And again, we're working with the Recollections 110 pound card card base. For this card, with the crochet thread finger bow, I have a craft colored 110 pound cardstock by Recollections. The embossed panel is the Swiss Dots embossing folder from Cuddlebug. And the heart was cut on my Cricut machine. I colored the panel with distress spray stains in tea dye and a little bit of vintage photo i then edged it with scorched timber distress ink and then the beautiful shimmer on there is from the distress mica stain antique bronze and finally we have our flat ribbon bow this is a very simple card the card base, 110 pounds, white recollections cardstock. The pattern paper, I'm not sure where I got this from. I'm assuming it was from a recollections Christmas pattern pack. I think, I don't remember. 
uh, but it is a very pretty paper. The only thing this needs, perhaps, is a sentiment of some sort, and I may or may not add that later. So there are the five cards that I made with the five different bows from yesterday's video. So I'm curious, which card do you like best? For me, I think I like the simplicity of this with the double bow, but this one with the tulips is my absolute favorite. So thank you for joining me today for this little show and tell video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll know when I put up the next video. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.